Good morning. For four years now, I have been making a dance film. One of its central themes is stigma. Let's talk about that. I know that I myself have been stigmatized, as I'm sure all of us at some time have been either the stigmatizer or the stigmatized, the insider or outsider other. The starer or the stare. What is stigma? Stigma classifies individuals as undesirable stereotypes. It reduces them from a whole person to a discredited one. The GIMP project, choreographed and performed by Heidi Latsky Dance, shatters our perceptions of one of the most stigmatized groups, the disabled. With an evolving series of dance performances featuring both atypical and conventional bodies, the GIMP project forces us to question our narrow concepts of beauty, especially as theatrical dance has such rigid ideas regarding the body image of the prototypical dancer. Let's watch. Disabled doesn't have to mean broken. It's not necessarily abnormal or wrong. It's just different. It's so easy to ignore disability. You don't have to confront the institutionalized and systematic oppression. You don't have to confront inaccessibility. You don't have to confront these attitudes of being patronizing or pitying. I think it's also really important. To be able to talk about disability in frank language and to destigmatize it a little bit, people have used these in a negative way in the past. Gimp, we're not going to be made negative like that anymore. We are us, and we're going to be here, and we are embracing our bodies and our abilities and our disabilities. Thank you. Thank them. Taking back ownership of the word "gimp" is a bold political and aesthetic maneuver. At first, it may disorient the viewer with its seeming political incorrectness, but it is a controversial form of branding that powerfully asserts the politics of this group of highly individuated artists who've. Fully embrace their own bodies and are acutely aware of the effect they evoke in others. Gimp is about being watched. It allows us to witness and to viscerally experience the complexity of these issues. The dancers of Gimp gaze back at the audience and invite them to stare, including myself. As I have been watching and staring as an able-bodied observer since 2008 with my film *Gimp: The Documentary*, *Gimp* challenges existing paradigms and shatters our perceptions and proposes new ways of perceiving the medical, legal, and cultural definitions of disability, while. Challenging existing views of the dancer and the dance, Gimp's confrontational redefining of the dancing body, beauty, and its making visible an often invisible demographic is more important now than ever, especially with increasing aging populations, returning disabled veterans, and rising numbers of numerous conditions such as autism. Now, let's all stare together. I'm disabled. What? You're looking at me. What? What do you think? What do you want? What does this mean to you? I am out here. Now what?
applaud for them, please. Through dance, GIMP creates communities, both among the cast and a broader community, with post-performance discussions and my filmic document, which re-educate audiences. By refusing victimization with a fully embodied and sensual sharing of the stage, GIMP triumphs over stigma. Ultimately, the dancers of GIMP show all of us how to look by showing us how they look. Thank you so much. Thank you.